Welcome back. My name is Glenn, Mr. Cologne76, and today I am going to be joining with Olivia Crest, Master Perfumer, as we explore six fragrances from Perfume House Acro Fragrances. If you are a perfume lover, it's more than likely you like at least one, possibly two, maybe even three fragrances by the great Olivia Crest. Let's get into Haze. Yeah. The next fragrance we're going to discuss is Haze. What can you tell us about that one? Yeah, Haze, Haze is, uh, you know, it's based on cannabis. And actually, if you, if you ask me a, a question among all the ingredients, what is your favorite uh, smell? I would say immediately it's cannabis. Cannabis is fascinating, you know. Uh, you smell it everywhere in the world. Of course, in London, but in Paris in New York, everywhere, you know, in big cities, and you smell it uh, on the sidewalk in the morning at seven o'clock or at night in, in the flats, in the, in the apartments, everywhere people are. You have more than 20, 25% of, the, uh, of the, the population uh, smelling uh, and, um, and uh, smoking some, some cannabis, you know. Um, so it's, it's getting very popular, but the thing is, uh, Glenn, as soon as you, you, you walk on the street, you know, on the sidewalk, and you can notice at, uh, let's say, 50 meters, 100 meters, if someone is, uh, is uh, smoking, you know, some cannabis. You see, yeah. it's very, very, very unique. And um, I have uh, blended, you know, some, some uh, interesting ingredients to, in order to reproduce that atmosphere, that feeling of cannabis, because you don't have any CBD in that... Uh, in that uh, fragrance, in that formula. Uh, but mm -hmm. I've been using some uh, warm wood, some, uh, some uh, you know, clary sage, some artemisia, some uh, mint also, mint spicata, which is a little bit sweaty, uh, mm -hmm. as well as some eucalypt eucalyptus buds. And if you mix them, that makes something very aromatic, uh, very unisex as well. And I can tell you, uh, when we, launched, uh, when we launched two years ago, ago in Paris, uh, in front of uh, journalists, you know, their, that one, Ace, was the, their best uh, preference, you see. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Haze because it has a cooling effect, and I'm imagining yes. it's because of the spearmint and the eucalypt, eucalyptus. I, I also really like the smell of cannabis, not, I, not so much when it's smoked, but um, the, 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 the green stuff, you know, what we call buds, sure. I have always been fascinated by the smell of that. So this was a very interesting fragrance um, for me. And again, I can see this being a bit polarizing. In fact, my fiance does not like this one. So I most often wear it when I'm out the house, but sure. I, I like I like what, what you've done here. Very nice for you. Yes, the, the, the freshness, you know, the, the fizziness, you know, it, it has some, some, some qualities. Uh, like in Eau Sauvage, the top note of uh, lemon and bergamot you are encountering in Eau Sauvage, you, you have some elements. I, I didn't want to, to match Eau Sauvage at all, but, mm -hmm. but there is a freshness, which I can, I can link it with Eau Sauvage because it's chic, you know, it's posh. But, but then it's uh, totally um, aromatic with the, the ingredients I mentioned to you, clary sage or wormwood, which is an accent, you know, uh, which was yeah. the 19th century, it was a drug, you know, uh, it was the, 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 the drug for, for writers to, to give them some inspiration. Mm, I did not know that. <laughs>